Welcome to this lesson, learners. I've got four questions that came in the 2024 GCE Paper 1, and we are going to tackle them properly. All right, so I'm going to follow the steps that are required for you to answer them, and I hope that by the end of this video, you are going to make sure that you learn how to answer these questions. So without wasting much of the time, let's go and start working out. Question 1 says evaluate 8 over 27. Everything has been raised to the power 2 over 3. So, number 1. Okay. So, by virtue of us having that, okay, this means 8 over 27. Everything to the power t, 2 over 3. What we are going to do here is we are going to express 8 and 27 as a base of what? 3. In short, we are saying which number can we raise to the power 3 to give us 8 and which number can we raise to the power 3 to give us 27. The number that we can raise to the power 3 to give us 8 is 2 to the power 3 over. The number that we can raise to the power 3 to give us 27 is 3 to the power 3. We have that. Is it clear? Okay. So now, this 3, the power here, it's common, so we can take it out. Such, such that you are going to remain with 2 over 3. So we take out the 3 there. But remember that you've got the power also outside here, 2 over our t, 3. So this 3 and that 3 now they can cancel. So now you remain with what is square there, which will give us 2 over 3 squared, which will give you the final answer to be what? 4 over our t, 9. That is the final answer. Let's look at another one. Question 2. Question 2, we are simplifying 4x minus 2 plus 3, 2x minus 3. So what is 4 times x? We get 4x. What is 4 times negative 2? We get negative 8. What is positive 3 times 2? We get positive 6. Then we add x. What is positive 3 times negative 3? We get negative what? 9. Then step 2 is we collect the like terms. So we have 4x plus 6x minus 8 minus 9. When we'll look at these are like terms and they have the same sign, so we're going to add them and maintain the sign which is positive. Even these two, they're having the same sign, so we're going to add them and maintain the writing, the sign. Can you feel to do this? Number three, solve the equation. We are solving 3x minus 5. Then we've got x plus 2. This one is equal to 0. So we need to solve the equation. So, so you, the, the biggest mistake that you can make here is to start expanding. No, you don't have to do that. Just the way they are. The way they are. Equate them to 0. So do this. Let 3x minus 5. We go to zero. You say or you say x plus two. We go to what is zero as well. Then you say three x is equal to five. All right. Or you say x is equal to negative what two. So now here over what three over three. So you get your x is equal to one. Mean that 2 over what 3 or our x is equal to negative what 2. These become our two answers that we're looking for. The last one but not on the list is question 4. So saying factorize completely. So 7x squared minus 7. We need to factorize. First of all, take out what is common. 7 is common. So 7 into 7x is squared. We remain with x squared. 7 into 7, it's 1. Such that when we expand, you to take us back to there. Now, this is not complete. All right, this is not complete because what is inside here can be factorized using the difference of two squares. The moment you've got a square, two squares, and a minus in between them, we call it the difference of two squares. That means you can factorize them by doing this. 
where a and b are the square roots of these squares all right so we are going to keep our seven out then you do this then we are going to say what is the square root of seven sorry of x squared it's x minus what's the square root of one it's one again x but just put a plus here like that and you are done now and that's how you, these uh, first four questions you are supposed to answer them in that paper that our 2024 GCE candidate wrote and I hope you enjoyed the video subscribe and you can also enroll for our online classes we are very much affordable it's previous tutor I'll see you in another revision